so so today we will be discussing about the label propagation algorithm for community detection so it's a very easy peasy algorithm uh, that goes in the basic kind of that is very similar to k, uh, the k nearest neighbors algorithm in machine learning so let's deep dive into it so like for example assuming this to be a sample graph that we have uh, label propagation is very helpful in semi supervised learning where we wish to where we wish to label out our remaining data set with uh, just a handful of labeled data so for example out of this uh, five nodes we know the community for three of them that is a and c and b where a and c belongs to community red and b belongs to community green eventually we wish to know with, uh, with to which communities e and d belongs to so label propagation goes uh, uh, in two steps first it considers the label of all the neighbors of a particular node uh, if it is able to find a majority label then it assigns it the same lab label else it has a policy to uh, which helps us in case of a tiebreaker so let's see how it assigns uh, labels in this case so for example for uh, node e we can see that it has two neighbors for it that is a and c now eventually uh, as both belongs to the same uh, community e by majority voting would also belong to the same community now considering d uh, it's a bit tricky because it has two nodes one belongs to community red another belongs to community green uh, how should we assign a label to community d now so in case of tie breaker we have a policy too now this can be anything it can be the case that it can consider a distance uh, if in case of weighted graph actually in case of an undirected graph we can go with uh, random labeling as well so out of red or green it can assign uh, it any community randomly assuming green so this becomes our final answer for it